Okay, today we're going to make a mod to this Thrustmaster HOTUS X uh, joystick and throttle combo. A mod that most people who have these and want to put them into a seat are familiar with. I've already removed the screws on the bottom here. As you can see, this cable not very long okay. and I want to put it in my gaming rig with the throttle to the left of the seat and the joystick to the right and right now there's not enough room to do that so the hack basically is to cut this cable which has 16 conductors in it and put um, Ethernet ports on either side and then connect them with some Ethernet cables so I bought on Amazon, two mono price, um, two port wall jack packages. So they each come with two jacks, so we'll need one for each end. So Ethernet cable is eight conductors. So between the two of them, we'll be able to get um, 16 conductors. There we go. And it's just a matter of punching these down, right? Once we have it done, I've got myself I already had. So these don't come with a punch down tool, but I had one already, <clears throat> which is going to make it easier to get the, uh, the cables in there. So what we're going to do is take a big step and cut the cable. need to do is strip some of the let's see how much we're gonna need here okay so we've got a pair of strippers here just go lightly around there is a foil liner in here just want to make sure we didn't cut any of these which is good okay you can see there's 16. All right, so there's one wire that doesn't have any coating. That's just a ground wire. I guess the way to do this would be to do both sides at the same time. There we go. Fifteen minutes of work condensed down into about a minute to get this done, but basically the procedure is to go through all the colored blocks on the Ethernet uh, ports and apply the wires to them in order on both sides. Cut off a little bit of the excess here so we don't get any shorts okay all right so that's what it looks like all assembled here's the matching set okay here's what the completed wiring looks like also with the little zip tie for strain relief there. It's important to keep that. But you can just see the layout of the wires there. You just follow along. Make sure that you match them up. From here to here. So we plug this one into this one. And these ones match up the same way on this side. You see. So there's a white one on the brown. There's a white one on the brown. You see and that just goes the same way all the way around. There's the black one there, there's the black one there, and they just proceed along. Hey, if you do, I had a little issue where some of the wires hadn't been punched down completely, 
so some of the buttons weren't working and I just went through one by one and made sure that the wires were all completely punched down. As long as they match up, this works great. So I'll just put the caps on, get everything set up. Good to go. jacks, or I mean patch cord, patch cable. This is just regular CAT5. You don't really need CAT6, that's for long distance uh, runs of Ethernet. So let's get set up to uh, check how this works with the computer. So you just, in Windows, click the Windows icon, type game set up USB game controllers that's the one you want so it detected the joystick when I plugged it in and just click properties and we can go through here and press buttons so the idea is to go through pressing all the buttons and moving all the axes so that you can tell that they all work. So I'll just do a couple of them here. So this is, let's see, 12, 11, uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. That's on the throttle. And here's the axis of the throttle. And here's the slider on the throttle. So that's all working. And then get the... Uh, the joystick, right? So, right there's button four, three on the side, two, and then the trigger, and there's the hat and the axes. So let's have a look at those. There's a four. Let's see, four, three, two, and one, right? And then the working. And here is the Z rotation, which is your rudder on the throttle. And there's the x-axis and the y-axis moving all over the place. So now what we've got is an extra three feet. And of course, I can make that as long as I want with uh, longer Ethernet uh, patch cables. I'm not sure what the distance would be. But that's, uh, that's how you do it.